Okay, here's a little uh, productivity tip for you um, if you have multiple computers, okay? Um, now I've got three machines that sit here and they've all got different um, software on them I use for different things. And they're all, they are all on a network, so they all work and I can remotely log into all of them so I can get into them easily, but sometimes um, there's ways to do things even quicker that I find. Anyway, and for example, this is a perfect example of what I'm trying to do. I just need, all I need to do is copy this URL of this logo here and I need to share it so I can open up uh, Dreamweaver on another machine and I just need to use this logo within the code um, in Dreamweaver. Now rather than trying to type this logo in, obviously it doesn't take long to type it in, um, don't get me wrong, I'm not being lazy, but there's just, I could, if I'm doing this maybe four, five, six times a day and I'm trying to just copy images and I quickly need to get that URL. I use this little feature, which is obviously it's not really a feature. This is Google Talk, okay? So what I do is I have multiple Gmail accounts, probably like most people do. And what I would do is I would log on to each of my sh machines in the different uh, Google account. And I have Google Talk installed on them. Um, same if you actually were using Gmail and using the web chat feature. As long as you're logged in. So this, although this account says David Frosdick, um, it's actually under a different Gmail account. Okay, and all I need to do is just paste in this URL I've just copied and I press enter. Now on my other machine, obviously, which you can't see, it opens up this chat window um, here, obviously on the other machine, and I can just open up the chat window and I can copy that URL that I've pasted and I can do what I need to do in the text. Uh, let me just lean over the other machine and just paste it in as an example. And then once I would once I've done the editing that I need to do on the other machine, I can literally come back to the Google Talk window on the other machine. I could paste in the code, okay, and then I can just press enter again, and the code then pops back to here. And I could then just take this code and obviously paste it in the web page where I am. Um, so that's just a little productivity tip. If you sometimes just need to transfer files as well, if you need to transfer files, you can use Google Talk. From here, I can just go send files, okay. Um, Google Talk actually claim that there's no there's no limit to the amount of file sizes that you can transfer at one time. So effectively, using Google Talk, you could transfer a gigabyte file. Um, so they say there's no limit, and literally all I need to do is click on the Send Files, find the file, and transfer it. So I can transfer it from one machine to another. So if you don't have your computers networked, um, you could use Google Talk to transfer files from one computer to another. Okay. So it's just a little productivity tip. There's nothing great about it, but it saves me uh, time. It doesn't have, don't have to open other browsers, click in, type in URLs, get the URL spelt wrong, and then try typing it again. I just paste it into Google Talk, go to the other machine it's working on, open up that window. So uh, you might try it for if you've got multiple machines in the house and you're trying to do different things and you want a, different files on other machines. Obviously, having them networked is much quicker. But... Um, Obviously, doing networks, you can't sometimes just copy and paste a URL like this really quickly, but just a little productivity tip. Anyway, so it can save you a bit of time. If you have two Google accounts, log into Google Talk on each of your computers, and you can just share files and share links between them both. Okay, so I hope that can help some people. Um, it seems to save me loads of time anyway.